Hello and welcome to part two of the UBIK tutorial. In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about how to clone the project and also about how the video structure is going to be. Um, so every time I make a video, I'm going to make a commit and I'm going to name that commit uh, the same I, uh, number as the video corresponds to. So uh, in this case, you would click this commit here and get that. And then whatever we build in this uh, project, you're going to be having the same uh, starting point as this video has. But first off, let's start off by cloning. And it appears that Bitbucket has some problems, apparently. But let's hope we can continue anyway. So we start, start off by hitting clone here. And I'm using HTTPS. Yeah, so copy this string here and close. And I'm also using source tree and uh, I would suggest you use the same because that's what I'm going to be sh showing in this, these videos here. So download for Windows or for Mac, depending on what platform you're on. And uh, that should give you this application here, source tree. So in here you click clone and then you paste in the, oops, you paste in the string that you just copied and you select a uh, local location and this one has to be empty so select whatever you want to and it's gonna uh, fill this one for you automatically and then you can just hit clone and what you're gonna see here is it's gonna fill out this uh, library here or this folder with all the content and it's done now. And so now we just open the project and see what we have in here. I'm just going to turn on my control. Here. Okay, so when you, whoops, when you get in here you'll see something very similar to the third person template uh, the only difference is I cleaned it up a little bit and moved a few things around and just to minimize uh, the payload of the, this project here and also I created one folder called UBIK and one folder underneath here called blueprints which has this character in here that I placed in the in the level when you hit play can see that we can move around there's a little character here that we can move around not, nothing fancy and if you're wondering how we can move around you can check the project settings on the input and action mappings and depending on what platform you're on you might have to change these a little bit so you have a move forward and backward I have the bound on the keys here and also on the motion controller thumbstick. Um, so also I have uh, two settings in here called increment and decrement X, um, which I will use uh, from now on and forward to set some default settings. So this is just a minor thing that we are going to do in this video, just because uh, so we have something uh, to commit really. Um, so we're just going to call this decrement uh, y or increment y and this one decrement y and increment c and decrement c. So we're just going to bind these to the 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 numbers here really you can do this uh, with the, any key that you want uh, but this is just what i'm going to do here for now okay so with this set um we have something that we can actually check in so let's go uh, before we leave here um go to vr preview and see if we uh, what else we have and just test test out the controls maybe we can do another little change if I use my uh, controllers here and, and use the trackpad, um, seems like this one is turned off. 
problem. Okay, there we go. So I'm using the trackpad uh, out of, uh, I can, yeah, there we go. Um, so I'm actually using the knuckles for, for the testing here really, but you can use whatever. Um, so we have a jump uh, set up also. I think it's on this control, it's on the B button. I think on the, on the regular ones, it's on the, on the shoulder button up here. But uh, go check it out yourself on, on the project settings if you're in doubt. Uh, but as you can see, this is what basically what we have in here. It's just very, it's a very simple project. And this is what we're going to use to modify from here on. Um, so one other small thing that we can change uh, while we add it is uh, if we go into the uh, into the character uh, VR character here, this is just going to be a proxy by the way. So don't uh, put too much effort into this guy here. We can either double click him or if uh, if you want a shorthand for it, you can select whatever actor you want uh, have in the level and press Control E. That will also take you into this. Um, so in here we have the camera boom, as you may know, if you're familiar with the third person character template, and you have a follow cam. Uh, the follow camera we're actually not going to use for anything, so uh, in this case I decided just to uh, um, turn off uh, auto activate, and I'm going to create a new scene component, which I'm going to call the VR uh, origin which I'm going to parent to the capsule component. So I just need to zero out this one because I placed it wrong to begin with. And underneath here, we are, or actually here, we're going to create a new camera. So this is going to act as our, um, what's it called, the, the head or the HMD in the end. So compile that and save. And that should give you a camera now. So for now, uh, we have <laughs> we have the camera sitting in the middle of the the mannequin, and actually we're not going to be using this uh, mannequin here from now on. So we're actually also going to do one more thing, and that is to go down and turn off visibility for this guy here for now. Or actually, let's not turn off visibility. Let's uh, clear this guy out completely. Okay. So now we have a um, character that can move around. It's uh, very jittery at the moment, and we're going to take a look at that in the next video, I believe, uh, why that happens. And might have been might be something I forgot. I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Uh, but I'm going to address that in the next video. But for now, we have something. Um, we don't have any controllers or anything, but we have a. Um, a camera that will be that we will be using from now on. Okay, um, that's basically what we're going to do for this time. So I'm going to close this, and then we're going to switch over to Source Tree and see what we have. So when you want to commit something, um, I'm going to just show this on this video. Uh, you can see. Uh, in the history tab here, or in uh, you can see the file status or whatever, on or, or the history. On the history, you can see what is uncommitted. That means that it's not um, saved to this. Um, this it's called a commit. Uh, and what you want to do is to stage this. You can either do it here, or you, you should do it actually from the file status here. So here, you if you want to stage everything, prepare everything for. Uh, uh, putting it into the source control, and you get move move them all the way from all all of them from unstaged files to staged files, and uh, then you usually um, supply a, a commit com comment. In this case, I'm just going to write something like um, added uh, bindings for uh, increment decrement. Y 
uh, y and c plus um, added a um, via camera. That is basically what we need to do, and then just hit the button commit. And then you can see it says I need to push this. In your case, uh, I I don't remember exactly. I think since it's uh, it's um, it's a public but not something you can commit to, then you can't. You shouldn't do this. But in my case, I will uh, end up pushing this, so you guys can have the benefit of this uh, the, these small changes. Um, so that is basically what you need to do. So we're going to continue in the next and set up the rest of the interactions for this component uh, or this VR character. And then we're also going to continue with the, um, a few more uh, debug setups, which will be very uh, handy in the next coming videos. So thank you for now and be seeing you in the next. Bye.